Santaro is about to do a weekly reading for the sign of Gemini. I'm going to be doing dailies with any weeklies and then having an overall energy for the week. So you all could go back and check the dailies if you all prefer or not. Alright, so let's see what spirit has to say to the sign of Gemini for the week, the 20th to the 26th of May. Twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth. Oh, it's neutral. Okay. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. So, for some of you, somebody is not coming towards you to speak to offer you love. <clears throat> Alright, so it's starting off with the Chariot. The 21st is the Hierophant. The 22nd is the Two of Pentacles. The 23rd is the Ace of Wands in reverse. The 24th is the 5 of pentacles in reverse. The 25th is the 6 of pentacles in reverse. And the 27th is the queen of swords. So for some of you, you're, you're probably dealing with an air sign. Um, or this could be you just standing in your own power. Gemini. Alright, so somebody is not having speedy movements on Monday. Or somebody is not deciding to move forward. Oh, okay. So I had three cards fell out. You have the reverse. If some of you are coming out of this energy where you are reflecting on something, on a situation. For others of you, you are just tired and bored of the situation altogether and just going through the motions of the day. And for others of you, you are definitely having some kind of transformation, closing of the old, starting something new. Probably within the same situation you are in. So some kind of understanding you'll be having this week, Gemini. Alright, so we have the Hierophant for Tuesday. This is someone um, or a situation where it will question your morals, your values, your standard. It's something traditional. Um... Maybe wanting a relationship traditionally or being treated traditionally probably by co-workers and stuff like that. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. So this is somebody coming towards you, Gemini, offering you a cup of love because this is the Hierophant. It's clarifying. So, like I said, it's something traditional. This person coming towards you may be wanting something stable and committed. Or it could be you. Then we had the two of pentacles. So you all would definitely have to make a decision this on Tuesday. And then we have the two of swords. So definitely some kind of decision needs to be made on Tuesday. As regarding whatever situation you guys are in. Then we have the two of pentacles for the Wednesday as well. So I guess for some of you, you will not be making a definite choice on Tuesday. Wednesday would be the same energy. Two of pentacles. So you all would be juggling something. Or you all will have to make a choice about something. Hmm, interesting. Alright. So we have the King of Cups. Which is Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You could be dealing with a male water sign. But what is interesting is... The King of Pentacles. So you could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So probably that's where the decision, the decision comes in. I don't know how it fits with your situation. Then we have the Tree of Pentacles. So for some of you, you are definitely going to be going into partnership with somebody. This could mean a relationship. Or it could mean a third party situation. Since two kings are here, for some of you, you are in a third party situation. And for others of you, you all are just 
resting, reflecting on life, on everything that has gone wrong, everything that has gone right, and trying to find some kind of balance. All right, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So you all are not having a, a passionate new beginning. But for some of you, you are having a beginning in love. So that should be good for some of you. So what is your passion this week, Gemini? Because it doesn't seem to be something new that is about to start. <clears throat> All right, so we have the six of cups. So this could be a passionate situation from the past that you are definitely turning your back on. But that is going to show up on Thursday. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have the fool. So somebody is taking a leap of faith probably towards this past situation or past relationship. But as of here dealing with a Leo or you're finding the strength to finally take a leap for yourself and go in the direction you want. Nine of, nine of Wands in reverse. Again, somebody is definitely not going to be giving you guys passionate messages this week. And for others of you, it's somebody from your past. And you are going to take a leap of faith with them for some of you. And for others of you, you will find the strength to tell them that they are no longer needed or necessary. All right, so on Friday, you all will not be feeling like you were left out in the cold. You all are finally coming out of that energy, that five of pentacles energy. And you all are finally deciding to choose yourself for some of you. Yeah, you're putting down the burdens, ten of wands in reverse. Okay. All right, I'll take them. Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, which is some of you believing to yourself that you haven't gotten what it is you deserve yet. And for others of you, you're dealing with an Aries, but this is in reverse. So, this person is definitely lying to you about something, about who they are, I believe. Or it could just be somebody just not in their own energy or who is trying to embody this energy but it is they're faking it i would say all right so some of you are definitely not receiving any messages of which i guess it, um i just heard some are you waiting on an interview you uh had this week and you would be waiting on the answer no messages on friday coming towards you Six of Pentacles in reverse. So whatever this is about, this is about you not finding balance or it's not an equal give and take situation. All right. So we have Five of Pentacles in reverse again. So some of you are definitely coming out of this energy. Finally realizing that you know what? You are better than this. And you are moving forward with your life forgetting whoever ghosted you or abandoned you in the past. For some of you, you will be finding balance or it could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. For others of you, Pisces. And you are just reflecting on this situation, this relationship or this person, whatever situation that is. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. So for some of you on Sunday, you all will definitely be gathering information and collecting the information and deciding who cut, who is cut out of your life or not. Alright. Ooh. Okay. So we had some jumpers here. So let's see. So we have the seven of cups. Some of you definitely do have other choices, options, or it could just be some confusion that you are feeling on this day. King of Swords in reverse. So some of you are definitely dealing with another air sign or this could be you just not feeling like yourself today for others of you you, <coughs> you seem to be fighting quarreling listening to gossip or just straight out defending yourself against something or somebody right so that is for monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday now I'm going to be doing the overall energy for the week. 
for you guys. I hope this resonates with you. For the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for those of you interested in a personal reading, check the description box below. Alright, so let's see what's happening here. For, uh, for Gemini for the week. The 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. 25th, 26th. Okay, so let's see what Spirit has to say to you guys for the overall energy for the week. We have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Wands in reverse. So for some of you, you're dealing with a uh, uh -huh, nine of pentacles in the bottom. So for some of you, you're definitely choosing to stay single this week, independent and by yourself. Others of you, you're dealing with a water sign, a female water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. For others of you, it's a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But this is in the reverse, so it could be a male fire sign you're dealing with. Alright, so let's get some clarifiers on this. To find out. What is happening for Gemini for the week? 20th, 21st, 22nd, 28th. Oh, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th. Okay, so we have you guys have a victory this week. Probably with a water sign or when you embody this energy, you will be offering thinking about offering somebody your cup of love because the queen of energy is about um undeciding whether she wants to give her cup of love or not that is that energy you will be having victory if you are stepping towards the person or the person is stepping towards you for others of you you all are in some kind of confused state or it could be that you have other options queen of cups in the reverse some of you are dealing with a male water sign pisces Scorpio <coughs> Cancer Okay, so I guess it's all about water signs this week or you just embodying that love that is needed this week Alright So for some of you, you're feeling in this energy where you're feeling like you're not getting what you deserve <coughs> Fathers of you, you are coming out of the Ten of Wands energy. And for others of you, you are moving forward to calmer waters in a different situation. Alright, Gemini, that's what I have for you guys this week. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I hope it resonates. Leave a comment. If you all would like to have a personal reading, something more personalized to your situation, check the description box below. Have a good week, Gemini.